Kamata and Dao's Great Adventure. Mintes Kamata and Ladybug Ao are best friends forever. One day, a letter arrived at their home. They shared. Hmm, I wonder what this is. They opened the letter and it said, "We would like to invite you to a special dinner that will be held in a forest. Please do come." The letter also contained a map to the forest. A letter from whom? I will ask. I have no idea," said Kamata. "This sounds like fun, though. Let's go and check it out," said Ao. The two decided to give it a try and head to the place marked on the map. Kamata and Ao boarded the high-speed rocket and headed towards the forest. The incredible speed made Ao a little sick. On the way, they noticed other bugs also walking towards the forest. Go, go, go! Look out! Everyone is heading towards the forest," said Kamata. "Go, go, go! That's right, Kamata. It looks like everyone has been invited to a dinner party," exclaimed Ao. At that time, the yellow bees were preparing a feast in the forest. They were cooking and singing this song. Keep making them! Come on, make them prepare a delicious feast. It's a command from King Thread. Hurry up! Hurry up! No singing allowed. As Kamata and Dao got closer to the place they marked on the map, they could see a big castle. A castle in a place like this? Ao asked. I'm not sure, but there's probably a fantastic feast waiting inside. Kamata guessed. Kamata and Ao got off the rocket and dashed into the castle along with the other insects. The blue bees were waiting for them at the entrance. The bee who got there first said, "Hello, I'm Hachi, and I was invited too." We were waiting for you. Please come inside, everyone," Blue Bean said. Kamata replied, "I'm excited," as he stretched his neck. Hey, everyone! Come over here. We've got a feast awaiting for you. Kamata and Dao and the box, along with Yellow Bean, rode the hamburgers through the wide corridors of the castle. That's a really big castle, isn't it? Awa asked. Yes, Kamata replied. By the way, this hamburger looks tasty. Awa took a bite and said, "Ew, it tastes bad." As he stuck out his tongue in disappointment. It's time to feast, everyone. Please enjoy the dinner party. Yellow Bean said. Behind Yellow Beans, who was holding up a moss-watering roasted chicken, there was plenty of other food lined up. Yay! That's awesome! Enjoy the meal. Kamata and Dao rush towards the feast. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have something rare and unique prepared for you. The butler Rosalia Batisi started speaking. This is a seven-colored scorpion. It is a rare breed that only exists in the world as a single specimen. Kamata and Dao had their eyes wide open as they took two bites of their hamburgers. Wouldn't Kamata lose if they fought? Ao asked. No way! I can't be beaten by anyone," Kamata replied. Despite saying that, Kamata couldn't stop shaking. This is a great peacock. Please take note of the seven colors of light emanating from its feathers. The great peacock swallowed its feathers gorgeously, while yellow being brought up the moon. With fantastical singing, I'm starting to feel anxious. There's an abundance of scraps and dishes and unfamiliar creatures here. 
This place truly feels like paradise. Kamata, Ao, and the all insects were completely enchanted by the captivating lights and sound. At that time, during the dining area, the yellow beans were engaged in hushed conversations. Hurry! Hurry! Let's escape! King Fringe is thinking something outrageous. Even the children should escape outside. The insects were completely asleep, mesmerized by the beautiful dance of the peacocks and the music. Three shadows watched them with a sinister grin. Ha! They fall asleep, just as I planned it. Little do they know they are about to become the priest for my pet. Yes, ha ha. This should help those little ones grow another size bigger than... Coronera and Kabubi, the meal is ready. Come on. The sleeping insects were approached by a giant shadow. Keep planning, grow even bigger, and less concrete will work. Ha ha ha. Huh? Did you say something? Kamata asked. I can't eat anymore, our mother, in his sleep. Ow, ow, wake up! Kamata seeks ow awake. Wow! What are these emotion beetle, thin beetle, and ant? Owl exclaimed. The gigantic bugs are ready to pounce at any moment. Let's try to prepare for battle. Saying that, Kamata and Owl begin to train with barbells. After completing their intense training, Kamata and Owl took out Japanese sword and saber. They crossed their sword tips and placed to victory. We will definitely win this battle! Kendara! Kasara! As soon as the words of Orth ended, the two of them moved and swiftly defeated the insects. The moment the two of them passed to King Strange, Strange let out the scream. Wah! We saved my life! With that, he swiftly escaped. In the moment of their joyous victory, Kamata and Dao played music using the maralika and trombone. The trapped insects were set free, and they all thanked Kamata and Dao before they went back home. Ao said, You've done a good thing again, Kamata. Kamata responded, when we're together, there's nothing to be afraid of. The two of them proudly watched insects leave. Kamata and Ao arrived back at their home. I can't forget the feast at the castle. But just the two of us eating a meal together at home is still satisfying. Kamata asked, I hope we get another dinner invitation. Al replied, I would love to have that hamburger again. They were such carefree individuals. The end.